Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're calling in from. My name is Denisha Price, and I am a Chapter Activities Coordinator at American Concrete Institute. I would like to welcome you to today's leadership webinar on Young Member Outreach. Today, we have two speakers by the name of Jaden J Jackson and Connette World. Jaden Jackson is the Student Faculty Programs Coordinator and ACI Staff Liaison for S801, 802, 803, and 805. His work is student and faculty focused, working with some of our committees, programs, and convention sessions related to our student faculty members. Jaden has been with ACI for three months now and works out of our headquarters in Michigan. Connect World is the ACI Staff Liaison for S. Us for SIPAC, the Student and Young Professional Activities Committee, which reports to the ACI Board of Direction. She oversees all committees, programs, and convention sessions related to younger members and educators. Panette has been with ACI for nine years and works remotely from Atlanta, Georgia. Please join me in welcoming both of our speakers, and now they'll begin today's webinar presentation. Hello, everyone. I'm gonna jump right into it. Um, ACI has over 15,000 student members worldwide. Um, ACI membership is free to both undergraduates and masters and PhD level students. Membership includes free access to more than 100 years of concrete knowledge, including our guides, our reports, symposium volumes, and journals written by experts in the concrete industry. In addition, uh, student members can participate in the live webinars, uh, every month, as well as access on our, our on-demand courses. Members also receive uh, document discounts on our ACI publications, including our classroom textbooks, such as the ACI 318 building code requirements for structural concrete and our 562 code requirement for evaluation, repair, rehabilitation of uh, concrete structures and comment uh, commentary. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, ACI has 300 plus student chapters. The student chapters create space for civil engineering and construction management students to learn and exchange ideas about our concrete knowledge and technologies. A minimum of 15 ACI student members is required to form a student chapter as well as uh, the support of a faculty advisor. These documents, um, they have to be submitted to John Kahn, uh, director of our chapter activities for approval. Some students engage in activities such as monthly meetings, social events, technical sessions, um, research conferences, site tours, and local competitions. Student chapters that are actively engaged in ACI and or on campus activities can apply to the student chapter awards program. The awards program recipients receive uh, the designation as an outstanding student chapter and earn like uh, perpetual award plaques. ACI coordinates two major team-based competition, competitions each year. Undergraduate teams of two to eight uh, student members can compete for a chance to win cash prizes. The goal of the concrete competitions is to provide students with an opportunity to apply classroom theory to real life concrete projects. In the process, uh, they gain valuable teamwork, cost estimation, budgeting, and project management skills. Our current roster of competitions includes the Pervious Concrete Cylinder, FRC Bowling Bar, Mortar Workability, and FRP Beam Sponsor uh, by the uh, plus 400 plus technical committees. The competitions take place in person during the ACI convention. In addition, we offer two virtual competitions called the Concrete Solutions and Eco Concrete. There is no cost to participate in these events with the exception of the expenses, of course, to pay for the travel to the in-person competitions. Um, students interested in attending the ACI Concrete Convention in person only pay $20 for registration. Students interested in the virtual on-demand access to the convention can register for free. There are a number of opportunities for students to get involved during the ACI convention. The undergraduate research session is sponsored by the S805 Student Leadership Council and held during the spring conventions. 
Students are invited to present their research on concrete-based topics. Um, new in 2024, students will have the opportunity to participate in the virtual undergrad research session. Abstracts for that are due June 14th. And all students are invited to view the webinar on August 6th. Graduate students are invited to apply for the travel stipend program, which will award $1,000 to cover expenses related to the attending of the spring or the fall convention. Uh, grad students may also participate in the concrete poster session or present their research at the open topics or research in progress session sponsored by the ACI Committee 123. Other events at convention include the ACI Student Forum, that features presentations from student chapter leaders and uh, the student and young professionals networking event, both held on Sunday during the convention. Uh, the ACI Foundation offers fellowship and scholarship to fellowships and scholarships to high potential students whose studies relate to concrete. Fellows are available to students studying in the U.S. and Canada. Uh, scholarships are open to anyone, including international students. Both undergraduate and graduate awards are offered. Applications open on July 1st and are due November 1st. And you can learn more at the ACIfoundations.org slash scholarships website. For university educators who are teaching concrete-related uh, courses, we offer a committee called the ACI Faculty Network. There is no cost to join this committee, but you must be an ACI member. For professors who have been uh, members of ACI, we offer a free one-year educator membership if you join the faculty network. After you join the faculty network, you will receive emails from me regarding um, opportunities to enhance your teaching curriculum as well as resources for your students. You will also receive complimentary desk copies to use in your classroom. Desk copies include titles like ACI 318, 562, and ML, MNL 17, the Reinforced Concrete Design Handbook. Uh, educators also receive a free annual subscription to ACI 318 Plus, which gives you the digital access to the resources and instructional, instructional material related to the building code. In addition, every summer, ACI organizes the Professor's Workshop, which is a two-day virtual in-person event that features prominent national, nationally known faculty and industry representatives who present information and resources to assist the professors in preparing and fine-tuning uh, their concrete-related courses. During the ACI Concrete Convention, we offer the Faculty Network Reception, which gives educators an opportunity to network with their peers in the industry, as well as professional development, uh, the professional de development breakfast, um, best practices in teaching concrete material sessions, as well as the, and the concrete design session, uh, 201 session all sponsored by the S802 Teaching Methods and Educational Materials Committee. I think now at this time, I would like to pass the presentation over to Ms. Knut Worlds, who will discuss the young members activities. Thank you, Jaden. The first thing I wanna discuss regarding young professionals is what ACI offers to those members including the fact that if you are under the age of 18, we offer a reduced member rate at $134 per year to gain access to ACI benefits and resources. The term young professional is generally designated for the ACI membership category, whereas the term young member is a term that we use for those 35 and younger. On this page, you will see a snapshot of all the programs and committees that ACI has available for members under the age of 35. In the top left, we mentioned the Emerging Leaders Conference, which is an annual leadership conference that selects seven young members to represent ACI during a two and a half day conference in Pittsburgh every September. We are currently, actually just now, we finished the deadline for collecting applications for that program, but we certainly invite anyone to submit applications for next year. The deadline is June 1st. 
We also have the free convention registration program, which I'm currently taking applications for. This program is sponsored by the women of ACI and is open to men and women with less than eight years of professional experience in the industry. Applications to attend the fall convention in Philadelphia are due August 15th. The Engineering Greatness podcast is a young member center program that features interviews with young members working in the industry and academia. The co-hosts talk about life and work in the industry, as well as how ACI helps advance their career. The podcast is available on all platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. Several co-hosts are actively involved in the local chapters. And finally, we have our list of young member focus committees, which includes the S805 Student Leadership Council, ACI's only student-led committee, and that one is where Jaden is actually the liaison. Um, and we also have the S806 Young Member Activities Committee and finally the Young Member Outreach Committee. S806 coordinates conventions at, I'm sorry, S806 coordinates events and sessions at convention, while the Outreach Committee focuses on events and programs hosted by the local chapter. And I'll actually begin to speak began to spend the remainder of our time uh, focusing on the local chapter young member outreach program. This program actually was piloted in the spring of 2023. The program included myself and several chapter leaders from the Western region of the United States. These leaders are what I like to call young member liaisons. The liaison position is held by a chapter officer or board member who is tasked with maintaining relationships with student chapters, university professors, and members under the age of 35. The liaisons met virtually for one hour to, prior to the spring and fall conventions last year. During these meetings, the liaison exchanged ideas and best practices specifically as it relates to young member outreach. A regional liaison was then required to report any updates or activities to ACI's young member committee. During the fall of 2023 convention in Boston, the ACI Board of Direction officially approved a proposal by SIPAC to launch several strategic programs aimed at young member retention, and thus the Young Member Outreach Program became an official committee under CAC, which is the Chapter Activities Committee. The Young Member Outreach Committee now has a homepage on the ACI website Membership is by appointment only through the local chapters. Local chapters should identify one or more individuals to serve as liaisons. The homepage features a committee roster with all the individuals identified for this position. Our goal is to have at least 60% of ACI's local chapters on this list within the next five years. Membership terms have not been officially decided but the general rule of thumb is that individuals complete at least one full year as a liaison. If your chapter does not have a representative on this committee, send me an email with the name and email address of the person or people that you would recommend to join this committee. A few of the chapters that have been a part of this initiative include ACI Arizona. As you can see, from their website featured on the left-hand corner of the screen, they actually have a page dedicated to young members that highlights information that is specific to individuals between the age of 22 and 40. So we are specifically talking about those who have recently graduated and are still young and new in the industry. So what ACI Arizona did is they established a young member committee. So that's a group of uh, several people who meet regularly and decide what sort of events and programs the Arizona chapter should offer to young members in their area. They hosted a kickoff event last year that was very successful. Uh, about 30 people attended. These are all individuals that have never been to an ACI Arizona meeting, but are within the concrete industry, coworkers, colleagues from other organizations in the area were invited to ha have a meeting at a conference room of one of the members and they had a keynote presentation talking about 
projects that they were working on in the industry. The other thing that ACI Arizona did that is very unique to all of our chapters is they offered a young professional member rate. So their reduced rate of $50 is about half the price of what you would pay if you were um, a member older than 40 years old. ACI Southern California is another chapter that also established a young member liaison at their chapter. And through the establishment of identifying a person to develop young member activities, they actually created three task groups. One task group will be planning a happy hour event, so a social event. So all events don't necessarily have to be centered around having a keynote presenter. Um, but also some could be fun, like another idea that they have is to host a trial batching event. The other thing that I want to highlight here is you'll see a screenshot of the newsletter for ACI Southern California highlighting their scholarship program. And I just point that out because these are individuals that will be graduating soon and just giving, making the time to give them recognition on either your website or in your newsletter is very important just in terms of engagement, letting your other members know that you are sponsoring younger members and also letting younger members, whether they're students or young professionals, be acknowledged and showcase that they're important to your industry and invite it to be a part of your membership. ACI San Diego is another chapter that recently established young member task groups and again, the way they did this is it's a committee of people, but they split the committee into three groups. And this upcoming year, they're planning to host a concrete trivia night, which again is more of a social event just to help people build relationships. They also plan to host a trial batching event and happy hours. Another idea that they had is to establish a joint relationship with the local structural engineering group. So again, if you're listening to this webinar, and you don't currently have any activity for young members, think about some of the other organizations in your area that maybe they already have some young member programs. Maybe you all could collaborate, pull your resources together, and that way you have more human resources and financial resources to actually execute some of these events and ideas. Um, I, I did wanna point out that they had a beach cleanup event this was not specifically for younger members, but it is a type of event that would attract younger members, particularly if you think about your student chapter that may be getting ready to graduate, inviting them to something like this, just so they can get to know your members outside of you know being in suits or on a construction site and just build relationship doing something fun that's impactful for the community. So I appreciate the fact that they're thinking outside the box um, outside of just having a traditional monthly meeting or a technical seminar. ACI Northern California and Western Nevada has had strong student chapter engagement for a very long time. They actually sponsored two student chapters at San Jose State and at CSU Sacramento. And so every year they actually dedicate one of their monthly meetings to those student chapters. And that includes Either they're hosting a, bringing in keynote speakers that are highlighting local projects that would be interesting to the students and that maybe they would potentially be working for those companies, or they may have like more of a panel discussion where students can ask questions. Because again, keep in mind, students are getting ready to graduate and go into the industry. They don't know a lot. They're getting into their first internships. They're looking for jobs. So the more information you can provide them about what life is like in the concrete industry, the more likely they're going to be attracted to staying with your, uh, staying with your chapter as a young member and, and making that transition. So they do at ACI Northern California have a young member committee. I believe they have about two or three people that are active on that committee and they are the ones who are responsible for organizing those annual events. One thing that they do is that those events were held at Dave and Buster's, for example. So again, if you're traditionally holding your monthly meetings in like a conference room, just think about getting outside the box and going to a place where younger members would be attracted to that event venue 
just to kind of get them in the door to let them know that they're welcome to your events. ACI Georgia is another local chapter. Uh, last year, they actually decided to host their very first young member event, which was very successful. They had about 30 attendees. And again, this is a chapter that historically did not have any young member liaisons, did not have any specific student chapter outreach on a regular basis, but they came up with the idea to reach out to um, young members that are associated with members of their company. And they decided to have a project tour. And then after the project tour, they went to an Atlanta Braves baseball game. So this was a very successful event. They plan to do it again this fall. And again, I'm just highlighting this just to show you that you can think outside the box with young member outreach. If you're having trouble retaining students who are part of the student chapter that you sponsored or a competition team that you sponsored, you kind of want to get them in the door and, and show them like, okay, we, we're going to meet you where you are because, you know, students are new in the industry, so they don't necessarily understand all the technical talks or discussions that you might have during your monthly meetings. But you can't offer something that's specifically for them and give them an opportunity to connect with members that have been in the industry for a while. API National Capital, um, just recently, they're going to establish a young member liaison position there. Um, they, they had a top golf event. This is actually not an event specific to students and young professionals. However, as I mentioned before, that's an attractive event. That's an event that, you know, you're recently graduated and your younger members are most likely to show up to. And I believe there was a component of having some sponsorship. The cost was very low to attend this event. It was $30. They held it in the middle of the week on a Wednesday from two to four. So if you all have a top golf in your area or some sort of event um, venue that is just good for social interaction, think about hosting those type of events through your local chapter. ACI Louisiana is another example of a chapter that has really made it a priority to engage in young member outreach. And what they did differently as opposed to establishing a young member committee or a young member liaison, they are very strategic about appointing younger members to be leaders of their chapter. So I would guesstimate at least 80, maybe to a 90% of their leaders, president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, directors, are individuals who are under the age of 30. I'm sorry, under the age of 35. I do know that they've had several presidents that were 30 years old. And they don't just leave them, you know, to, to figure it out on their own. They have several members who been a part of the chapter for a long time who stay on board to mentor those young leaders. And they've been successfully doing this for a number of years. And young members attract young members. So if you're a student and you show up to this meeting or you're a young professional under the age of 35 and you see that there is young members in leadership roles, there's young members attending these meetings, you're more likely to keep coming back to the meeting on a regular basis because you know that you're welcome, you know, you know that you don't have a lot of experience in the industry, but you see that there are people that are in your age range. And so that makes you feel like you belong there. So that, that's very important when you are designing events and programs specific to younger members. They need to see themselves in the room so that they feel welcome and know that, well, I don't need to have 10, 15 years of experience to contribute and to be a part of this local chapter. So finally, a summary um, of everything I talked about today um, and, and highlighting those success stories from local chapters, um, the three main things that I want you to take away from this webinar is first of all, recruit a young member liaison or a group of young members to be a committee that is dedicated not only to managing and coordinating sponsorship of your student chapters, but also just planning activities and events for younger members that are under the age of 35. The next step after that is to engage. Think about what events you all are planning for the 2024-2025 calendar year. 
can you dedicate at least one of those monthly meetings to a young member event, whether it's inviting a young member to be a keynote speaker for an event, or is it a social event that you can plan during that time? So out of all the ideas that I presented from the other chapters on the West Coast, I would think that there would be at least one of those events that looks doable for you. And I'll be excited to hear about what you're planning to do. The next thing is to retain. Establish an internal strategy at the end of the academic year, which would be right now, because I know most chapters go on hiatus over the summer, busy construction season. So this is a time where either now or when you go back to meeting in the fall and in and around August, that you set up a plan for how are we going to dedicate our time and resources to young member outreach? How are we going to retain the students that are getting ready to graduate? Can we invite them into a board meeting? Can we invite them into a virtual meeting and just talk to the students about opportunities and how your local chapter can actually help prepare them for success in the industry? So those are my closing remarks. And now we have space and time on, in this webinar for questions. And Denisha will be helping us moderate those questions. So please utilize the Q&A box uh, on your screen to submit those questions. Thanks, Kanette. Um, it doesn't look like we have any questions in the questions tab right now. So I'll give everybody a few minutes just in case some questions do come up. But it looks like Kim, Eisenhower, you raised your hand. Did you inadvertently do that or was that on purpose? I just allowed you to speak if you want to speak. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it was accidentally. Um, I, I'm sorry I'm in a little bit louder place. So if it's too loud, I can uh, I can mute and just type it in. Oh, no, I think, I think it's fine. Okay. We do have one event, um, we're actually calling it an industry night and we invite our students and our corporate sponsors and it's a speed networking type event. Uh, we did it last year was our first year and we've got one scheduled for this year in the fall. That sounds awesome. I definitely wanna to touch base if you can to learn more about that because I wanna be able to plaster Houston on my next presentation and brag about what you are doing because um, it helps other people get ideas too. Just to learn how you all plan that, learn how much money did you put into organizing it? How did you get people to participate, uh, not just the students, but your actual chapter members to participate in that event? It sounds really interesting. Okay, sounds good. And it looks like um, someone wanted to know, can we get a transcript of the webinar? Because a lot of important information. So yes, we are recording this webinar. And at the end of the webinar, I will be adding it to our website. So I'll send out a link to all of you um, for you to um, review it after this. And then Kanette, would you be willing to share your slides? And I can send those out as well. Yes, share. I'm willing to share my slides. But most importantly, if you email me and send me the name of your young member liaison. I will add you to that committee because there will be specific email communication and meetings that I will be having with those individuals about planning and organizing these type of events. I'll be scheduling the people who put together those um, other activities for the, their chapter will actually have a virtual meeting before we go to Philadelphia in the fall. And you can ask questions directly to other chapter leaders successfully and share those ideas. So I will, even, even these type of slides, even any flyers or presentations um, that I have going forward will be stored on that committee page. So that's why it's crucial and critical that you um, contact me with those names so I can stay in touch with the right people at your local chapter. And if Jaden could do me a favor, because since I'm sharing my screen, I can't type in the chat, but type in my email address, connect.worlds at concrete.org, if you all don't know how to contact me. And we can definitely move forward from there, because I will be having more of these in-depth discussions with your chapter liaisons that have been assigned by you. Thanks, Kanette. Um, The other question is, what are the best ways to recruit younger members? 
So some of the ideas that I've been hearing from the other local chapters is that they look at their, their current chapter membership and say, let's say you have a membership of like 50 people in your chapter. And from what I understand is they've, they've sent email communication and say, hey, do you have young members at your company that you would like to invite to this event that we're having? So if it's a networking event at Dave & Buster's, we're hosting something for young members. Let us know that, you know, please send us their name, forward this invitation so that they can actually show up for the event. And I think even at us as ACI, um, a lot of people don't know we have a membership directory and it's on the concrete.org website and you can actually filter within that membership directory and find individuals in your state or your country who are members of ACI, but probably not members of your local chapter. In ACI Georgia, for example, I actually gave, showed them how to use the membership directory, pull out the name and contact information of the young members in the state of Georgia, and they reached out to them directly, invited them to be a part of their chapter. And obviously, if you all are sponsoring a student chapter or a competition team, some people kind of exclusively sponsor ASCE Concrete Canoe teams, but that's a pool of people that you can tap into. They're getting ready to graduate, you want to retain them into your uh, your chapter under your membership, invite them out to a social networking and meeting. Some people have golf outings. Invite them out to some sort of social event. Talk to them. Let them know what the benefits are of your, your um, local chapter. But just tap into the resources that you already have. There's so many people that work at so many companies um, uh, that are part of your chapter already, and they have younger members that are working at their office. Every now and then I'll see people bring, have an event where it's like, bring a young member to the meeting event. And so maybe that person who's already a member of your chapter is going to cover the cost to bring a young member at their company to your meeting. So just utilizing strategies like that have been effective for other chapters. Thanks, Kanet. And it looks like um, we don't have any other questions. So I want to thank you and Jaden for taking the time out of your schedules to present to our chapters. And hopefully they learn some tools or some resources available to help engage with their younger members because you guys provided a lot of good information. Um, I also want to let everyone know if you have any webinar topics that you're interested um, in us um, having, uh, please send those topics to me and or if you have any chapter chats that you would like um, for us to have, and that's a more informal meeting where you can engage more um, with your ch other chapter officers, please send those topics to me as well, and I'll get those on the schedule. Other than that, I hope everyone has a great morning, great afternoon, a great evening, depending on where you're calling in from, and everyone take care. Bye. Thank you, Nisha.